Hey, what up, y'all? And welcome to the channel. Uh, on this, on this uh, video, this live stream, I'm gonna show you how I warm up in less than 30 minutes um, when I have limited time. Um, so, because usually, you know, as professional trumpet players, professional musicians, we tend have a tendency to not have as much time as we need to warm up. Um, so I'm going to show you a way, a practice technique that I use to, to do that. So, uh, this is mostly for my advanced players, but if you're a beginner or an intermediate player, uh, you're welcome to watch this with no problem. You know, watch this and get some value if you can. Um, however, I don't recommend it for you all. Um, but, uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Aaron. I know maybe it's upside down or whatever. I uh, just got this jacket for Christmas, uh, my wife gave me, but my name is Aaron, and on this channel, what we do is I help you learn, practice, and grow as a trumpet player so we can make this a fun experience anytime we're playing music. So, um, if you're in the chat, if you're in this live stream, just go ahead and tell me where you're from, what you're doing, Happy also oh, happy holidays, if I didn't say that already. Uh, happy Kwanzaa, Happy New Year, all of that. So let me just get to the punchline. How I do this, how I'm able to warm up and um, in less time is by combining concepts and combining uh, fundamentals. So in our warm up or in our practice or maintenance routine, we want to make sure that we co cover a couple things, right? So and it's pretty much like seven or eight things you want to cover in your warm up. So the first thing is, well, one of the first things is buzzing, long tones, uh, flexibility, range, finger dexterity, scales, what else? Articulation and arpeggios. So those are the things you want to cover in your warm up as much as possible because this allows us to do what we do playing music. So these are the things that we need to do in order to. Um, be ready for the day. So if you're just joining me, go ahead and tell me where you're from, what's your name, and, and yeah. All right. So that's, that's the punchline. And with that, you got to be creative. Or you might find an exercise that, that you like from a book or, or whatever. So you kind of have to be creative and, and create your own... Um, exercise really so for beginners and intermediate players what i do recommend uh i recommend that you have an exercise for at least each and everything so exercise for buzzing exercise for long tones and etc cetera, etc cetera. And just have this long list of stuff but as you gain more experience you might want to combine those things together because you've been doing those things um with consistency and and mastery at some level at a consistent basis. Um, so you wanna combine those concepts together to save you time. You might not always wanna to have to carry around a big you know, bag of method books and, and go to that page for your, your scales and this page and that book for your flexibility and this page and that page and et cetera. So in this live stream, I'm gonna actually show you what I do uh, to warm up in in less time. So uh, it's going to actually just be three exercises. Uh, one exercise that I, I came up on and kind of adapted, um, it's, it's called um, Daily Maintenance, Daily Maintenance uh, by Michael Sachs. I think it's a green book. And, but it's also in a book called Flexus. But I kind of adapted, adapted it a little bit so I, could, I can combine concepts together. But let me say hey to a few folks before I go on. Adrian, what's up? Linux, what's happening from Houston? Matt, uh, and Anton from uh, South Carolina. Oh, his name is Anthony. Anthony. Daniel, what's up from Houston? Taylor from Georgia. And um, Game Central from Kentucky. Alex Johnson, what's up? From Albania, wow. What time is it out there? 
that's dope. So this is this is what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm gonna warm up in front of you guys. These are the first notes of the day, and hopefully you guys get something out of it. If you have any questions, <laughs> if you have any questions, uh, please go ahead and put a Q next to your put a Q and then your question. So I can easily just sift through all the comments um, as quickly as possible. So if you have a question and if you're live here right now, put a cue and then your question. Uh, if you're here on the live, if you're here on the replay, then just go ahead and comment below in the comment section um, your question, and I'll get to it as fast as possible. Aldo from Italy. Alex is, is saying 1837. I actually didn't start the timer yet. So, so yeah. Han from France. But yeah, so these are first notes of the day. I actually, the first exercise, um, it combines three, uh, three, ex, uh, three concepts. It combines long tones, flexibility, and range. Um, I don't do any buzzing. So in this ever, so I don't really do any buzzing. What I do do is more of a ha attack or like a puh or a buh attack to get my air going. So um, that's, that's one thing. I don't do any mouthpiece buzzing or any lead pipe buzzing at all. Because for me, I kind of don't believe in it. But that's another thing for another video, another conversation. <laughs> all right? So this is, this is my warm-up. So I'm going to hit the... I'm going to start. We got 30 minutes to warm up. What's up to all 40 of you guys in the chat right now? That's awesome. All right, so here's the first exercise. Let me put on my metronome, the 60 BPM. Stop right there. I'm gonna rest for a little bit. And I'm gonna just keep going lower and lower until I hit the lowest note in our range. All right, but until then, I'll answer some questions. We got a question here. It's 37, you guys. That's awesome, man. That's great. All right, uh, question number one from Game Central. I am the only one that stresses, let me turn this metronome off for a second. I'm the only one that stresses about practice and getting better. Oh, am I the only one stresses about practicing and getting better? Uh, I just feel under pressure to improve more every day, and it's hard to do when I have to work on auditions. Now, um, I don't think you should let it stress you out. Practice should be very easy and very stress-free, just very easy. So. I'm in a very calm state right now. I'm not really worried about what's coming up next. I'm just worried about just making sure my, my lips work for the day. 
So I think, and you, you say you feel under pressure um, because you have to w work on auditions. Um, just set, set manageable goals for each day. Goals, goals that are so easy that you can, you can accomplish with no problem. Just like say if you're doing, um, you're doing a scale exercise and you, you're trying to get it faster. Your goal could be getting it from 80 BPM to 82 P BPM, just two beats per, per, per minute. Doing that allows you to not only gain confidence, you gain momentum, and it just helps you feel better <laughs> about practicing. So man, don't, don't be too hard on yourself. Set really bite-sized goals for each day, all right? Really easy goals. All right, so I'm gonna get back to get back to warming up. I'm gonna keep going down. I'm doing whole notes now. I'm gonna do half notes. Okay. So what I did there, if you notice, I was breathing through my nose and I wasn't particularly breathing in time, but I just wanted to make sure my lips were, my mouthpiece was still on my lips. And that's kind of like a Carmine Caruso type of thing. And for me that, and to answer Jim's question, he says, Jim, how can I build my endurance? My lips are exhausted after 15 minutes. I would say, try doing some Carmine Caruso type of exercises or type of thinking. And what I say, Carmine Caruso type of thinking is um, keep the mouthpiece on your lips. And when you run out of air or run out of breath, keep the mouthpiece on your lips and breathe through your nose to get the air and then con continue going. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making sure that the sound is kind of consistent throughout the register, going from one note to the next. Han says, I like your coat. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, my wife gave me this for Christmas. Has my name on it and my logo here. And this is actually a website. It's called um, Online Trumpet Studio. And it's, um, it's a website that I'm actually creating. It's a learning platform um, that I want to help folks just learn how to play the trumpet on my own platform in a structured way. Um, so you guys can get more results. So I'm working on that for the new year, for 2019. Um, I'm, I'm working on the website myself and I'm really excited for it. This is the logo. So it's like a trumpet. Um, and yeah, so it's learn, practice, grow. That's, that's my logo. I made it, I kind of made it myself, the design, but I, I had someone um, help me with um, my vision of what I wanted to look like. And my wife is awesome and she made she made this coat. She got it made and got it all stitched up with my name and, and everything. So I love it. It's one of my best Christmas gifts. Um, if you guys celebrate Christmas, what's one thing that you got for Christmas um, that, you're, that you're excited about, you're glad you got? Or if you didn't get anything for Christmas, what's that one gift that you wish you got for Christmas? <laughs> all right. All right, so let's get let's get back to warming up. Let's see how much time I got left. I got enough time. Got two more minutes. So for each of these, it's three 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 things, three components. So I want to spend a, a, at least ten minutes on each. So right now we're at twenty two minutes. So now that I went from um, G to the lower register, I'm gonna go from G second line G and go up as high as I can. This is 60 BPM, and I'm going chromatically. So A to G, A to A flat, or um, A to, uh, G to A flat, G to A, G to B flat, G to B, so on and so forth. 
if you like this kind of video so far, there's 30, 33 people in here. Um, go ahead and like the video. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel a lot by sending this video to more people. All right, so I'm going to go up now. And again, I'm starting on a who or a ha attack to get my sound going. So I'm not starting with the tongue. All right, so I'm gonna stop right there, rest a little bit, and then see if I can go higher. I'm at 18 minutes right now. All right, let's see if I have any more questions. All right, I got some comments here. Dinesh says, you are a star. Uh, I have learned from your videos, thanks a lot. Always, you are my super. This is Dinesh from India, India. That's great, man. Thanks for watching and everything. I appreciate all you guys. Tulani says, thank you for those constructive advices. Young in young, young, young in says, hi, glad to see you again. Good to see you again, too. Game Central says, my best gift was a new pair of cowboy boots. Nice. Uh, were they brown, black? What, what kind of colors are they? Um, Tony says he's from Africa. That's that's excellent, man. Eswatini, S Eswatini. I think that's how you say it. Um, Krenar says he got or they got a uh, sea trumpet, Zeno. Why, uh, Zeno uh, 8445G. I'm so happy. Yeah, those Zeno trumpets are amazing. Eric says, good information. Alfred, hey, Alfred, what's going on? Says, you got a burp uh, for your horn for Christmas. Excellent. I used to have one, but mine broke years ago. I love it. I need to get another one. That's actually a good reminder. Sebastian says, uh, when I warm up low notes, I try to keep the lips setting in the high in the high pitch this is uncomfortable but uh pushes me but but push me to use the ha attack yeah no problem he says bad english i don't care it's fine i i understand you as well 
Um, yeah, so when I set up, when I do that setup, I set up for um, middle G. That's my setup. And everything else is, I try to just make sure it's like one setup. So I gain consistency in sound and approach. Uh, but let me get back to, uh, let me finish out this exercise and so I can get to the next, the next one. I got 16 minutes left. Let's see if I can finish in 30 minutes. I usually don't do a timer, but you know, uh, we'll see if I can do this. All right, so what I'll end up, I end up playing the, the E above the staff. What I do is I try to get up to that double G up there um, with as le at least as least effort as possible. Of course, it's not going to be the the biggest and the greatest, but I know if I can at least get up there, I have a chance. <laughs> so that's my goal for for each and every day. I try to at least reach for that double G. All right. So the next phase in my warm up, uh, we're at. We're at a little under 15 minutes, 14 and 30 seconds. So the next phase is finger dexterity. I'm combining these concepts. So finger dexterity and scales. So the scales that I'm working on um, are, are my whole tone scale, starting on C. So this is the whole tone scale. It has six pitches, and they're all a whole step away, if you, if you guys don't know. So what I'm going to be doing is just um, a finger dexterity exercise that I, I came up with um, and that, that also, you know, tests my knowledge of the scale, but also challenges me in my fingers, right? So I'm going to start on the lowest note, which is our F sharp, um, because F sharp is in that, that whole tone scale, and just do this, this scale pattern all the way up or as far as I can go and then go back down. Let's see, any questions so far? Alexander from Poland, what's up? So if you're, if you're still here in the chat, if you're still here live, go ahead and tell me what you got for Christmas. Uh, I, of course, I got this jacket for Christmas. My lovely wife got it made for me. Um, I also got some PlayStation 4 games. And yes, I, I, I'm 27. I mean, I, I play video games. So uh, if you guys are interested in playing with me, um, we can do that. That's, that's fine. Maybe I'll do a Twitch, a Twitch channel and, or whatever. But that's, that's for another conversation, man. So uh, this next exercise is just one exercise. And let's do it. If you can hear and see me okay, just go ahead and give me a thumbs up or a yes or, or uh, a one in the chat just to make sure my, my levels are good and everything. All right, so here's the scale, starting on the lowest note. Thank you. 
it's still challenging. I'm still kind of practicing a little bit. It's still fresh from yesterday. So let me do this. I'm going to do this. And sometimes you got to be a little creative in your practice session. So you got to come up with stuff. Taylor says, well, I got to go, but thanks for the advice. No problem, Taylor. one octave that's one octave Mateo says hey great work I got two LPs of Wynton Marsalis for Christmas hey that's dope what LPs all right got a question from Kennard or Crenard. he says so they say um, what is some advice you can give about breathing right Excellent question. Excellent question. So, uh, some tips about breathing right. You want to make sure that you breathe in time. That's one thing that a lot of my students and a lot of people in general just struggle with, especially if they see a breath mark. Um, if you're reading music, is breathing in time and not letting that breath elongate the music. Um, so, you want to make sure that you breathe in time. Another uh, tip number two is. Try not to try not to breathe and stretch the corners back like this. Try to breathe with a nice open oral cavity like this. Like on O. So nice and open, nice and big. So because if you breathe really, really high like E and stretch the corners back, your sound is gonna represent that. So the way you breathe is gonna be the way that you sound. So if you wanna open sound, you gotta breathe with the open oral cavity. So those are kind of my two quick tips for that. Okay. Good question though. All right, so let me get back to, that was one octave. Let me do the next octave. And I'm already starting to feel nice and warm. I'm not feeling tired, even though I, w I did go up to those high notes earlier. I'm not tired, I'm just warm. Just like if you're exercising and you kind of do some jumping jacks or some push-ups or whatever, I'm not playing, I'm not playing to be exhausted. And um, little John, I'll get to your question in just a second after I do this exercise. But I will go, go in a little bit more depth about that. So same exercise, just up an octave.
So sometimes, sometimes in my practice or in my warm up, you gotta push yourself just a little bit, just to make things a little bit uncomfortable and to challenge yourself just a little bit. So doing this exercise, it's the same tempo but different, um, different uh, subdivision. That's challenging. So I, I'm pushing myself in that way. And you're hearing tons of blips and tons of blops. So whatever. I don't really care about that, but I'm just kind of testing myself to see what I know, what's easy and what's not that easy. And I'm making a making a mind, you know, making a a a a, a, a list, kind of a checklist to myself like, "Oh, I need to practice that." All right. So in my practice, I'll deal with that. Okay? So so yeah. So, uh Krenar. Wait, who had asked that question? Lou John, he says, "Can you talk more about uh, mouth corner in, uh, inhalations. Um, I mean, breathe in time. Make sure that you have a nice, nice um, open oral cavity, and also just breathe, breathe deeply. Like I don't know if you, I don't know. Let me, let me ask you this. What, what about what I said might not have been. Uh, clear or might have been confusing if so let me know and um i'll i'll um expand on that a little bit more but as far as breathing i don't think it should be too complex just make sure that you're you're not stretching out like you're like you're smiling <sighs> like this you don't want to do this <laughs> You don't want to do this where you end up, you don't want to do this where you end up with a smile because that chokes off the air, it cho it stretches the embouchure this way and you don't want to do that. So what I say is practice practice breathing with a nice O. So it's not stretching the armature back. You wanna keep things a little bit more focused towards the mouthpiece. So you're not cutting off the circulation, uh, the blood circulation. Because if you do that, your endurance will suffer, your attack and your accuracy will suffer. So hopefully, Lil John, and you say also say you love the whole tone exercise. Great. Hopefully, steal it if you like it. Go ahead, steal it and, and practice it yourself. Cornard says, thanks, because I seem to have a problem with high notes. And my professor says the problem is with my chops, but I feel my chops are strong. My problem is with breath. He confuses me a lot. Um, I don't think chops is more, I don't think high notes is a chops issue. It's more of um, like making sure that you don't. Let's see if I, how am I doing on time. <laughs> I got one minute, but anyway, um, it's more so um, a air, um, using your air, using your tongue, 
and using your air support in an effective way. And I kind of talk about that in other videos and, and stuff like that. So check that out if you haven't already. Um, but I don't think it's a chop issue. I think it's just an air, a air issue. Like you're not using your air efficiently. And you might have tons and tons of tension in your body. So you wanna make sure that you get rid of all that tension. And, and yeah. Mateo says, uh, you can make me listen to an exercise to speed up using the third key. I actually, I actually don't know what, you, uh, what that means. So if you can clarify that, Mateo, that would be great. Um, Lil John says, that was really clear, thank you. No problem, man. I'm going on 15 seconds here. The time is coming up. And he, actually on the chat, uh, on the live stream, coming on 36 minutes. Um, but that's, that's with like all this talking and just um, interacting with you guys. But if it was just me by myself, this would be 30 minutes. But um, my, my last exercise, I want to get through my last exercise. So that's that. Um, actually, let me finish that out. Wait. Yeah, I already played the upper octave. Um, so let me do my last exercise. So I'm going to do the whole tone scale. This is going to cover arpeggios and articulation. So, I'm, uh, so this is the time where I articulate and use my tongue. So everything else was mainly slurred and not using my tongue. So I'm just gonna do single tongue and make sure every note sounds really nice and clear. Uh, but I'm gonna be doing arpeggios off of the, um, the whole tone scale. And each arpeggio is gonna be an augmented um, triad. So it's gonna have a sharp five on the, on the top. All right, so this is what it's gonna sound like. I'm gonna start on the bottom, uh, our F sharp. Sixty BPM still. So that's one octave. I'm gonna go down. I get distracted very easily. <laughs> so that's why it's important to have everything turned off. I know I'm with my iPad, but whatever, but this is just for you guys so I can show you exactly what I do in the practice room, in the shed. It's awesome that I have 25 of you all in here. That's amazing. Um, hopefully you guys are getting some value out of this. Uh, if you are, just let me know. Um, by just hitting that like button. If you haven't hit that like button yet, please go ahead. This helps out the channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Um, so thank you for watching. Let me finish out the exercise and do the higher octave, okay? So I'm doing slur uh, two times and then I articulate the last two times.
So, if you notice already, if you notice already, you, we're hitting a lot of my weak points. A lot of my weak points are articulating in the upper register, if you haven't noticed already. <laughs> so, that's what I'm going to work on in my practice session later. But I address all this stuff in the warm-up so I can, I, can, I can tell myself, okay, I need to work on this in the practice room. If that makes sense, just let me know. Put a one in the chat. So it's, I think it's important to kind of expose yourself in, the warm, in your warm-up so you know where, what you need to practice. So don't always practice a warm-up on things that you can already do. Expand and, and, and try to challenge yourself just a little bit um, so you can address it later. Lil John says, love the whole tone warm-up. Definitely will do it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. Uh, I, it's a sound that I've never really explored enough. So this is what I'm doing. Uh, so let me try that again on the on the um, higher notes. Let's see, D. Let's, see. Let's start on D. are my deficiencies practicing tonguing and kind of slurring up there in the upper register but I'm not I'm not gonna go too far and get too crazy and start practicing I just want to expose myself to that so my lips have time to uh, get warmed up so I'm gonna take a rest it's about 12 15 right now here in Chicago Pikman what's up um, so I'm done with my warm-up I'm nice and warm I played all the notes I can possibly play for a gig later or the practice session that I'm gonna play later. All right, so this is this is what I'm that this is what I do in my warm up. I try to combine fundamentals together in just in just a few exercises. Now this is gonna is gonna take some creativity on your part and some um, experimentation, but I encourage that. I encourage you not to always go by the book or go by the Arbin's book and, and just play it verbatim, but try to figure out how you can solve your own problems and be creative and, and see if you can, you can do it yourself. As far as like, what, what is the exercise that will help me do this? What's the exercise? How can I make an exercise that helps me do this and try to do that? So, so yeah, that's what I do. Combine concepts together. It was just three exercises that I can go off and practice later. But yeah, but that's what I do. That's no secret. Um, so I encourage you all to, um, for all you advanced players out there, go ahead and try this out. If you want to practice these exercises, go go ahead and um, and yeah. Um, let's see, um, let's see, any other questions? Mateo says, sorry for my English, I mean the ring finger. Let's see. Um, could you make me listen to an exercise to speed up using my, th oh, your third finger. Gotcha. Not your third key. But... Clark, there's a Clark, there's probably a Clark exercise in there that, that actually focuses on that, on that third finger. Um, in this exercise, though. So when 
I do that, that's actually working out that third finger. So that too, like when you create your exercises, you're, you're covering a lot of bases, right? So I'm covering this, my third finger deficiencies by just practicing ar augmented arpeggios. <laughs> But if you want a tip to get get faster, what I recommend is that you put the pads of your finger on the pearls. So try not to do this. Try not to play like this when you when you play trumpet. Try to get those the tips of your finger, the pads on the pearls. And also keep the fingers close to the valves. Keep the fingers close to the valves. Let me look at the, the lens, the camera. Keep the fingers close to the valve so you have a chance to play a little bit faster. If you're coming all the way up here, if you're if you're coming all the way up here to press the valve, that's unneeded energy that you need. So what I recommend is that you keep the fingers close to the, the valves as much as possible when you play. And that will help you get faster. So hopefully that helps. Sebastian says, thanks, God bless, have a nice 2019, everyone. Yes, everyone, if, you have, if, if you're looking forward to 2019, everyone have a blessed 2019 and reflect. This is a, this, around this time, it's a, it's a good time to reflect on your last year and, and see how you can do better the next year. But if you guys don't have any other questions or comments or whatever um you guys take it easy i i'm trying to pump out a little bit more video some more videos before the end of the year so you might see a, a video or two from me before before um the end of this year the end of 2018 um um vasilis sorry if i'm saying your name wrong <laughs> bill okay bill well, that works <laughs> <laughs> Bill, um, he says greetings from Greece. Greetings from Greece. So thanks for having you, man. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. Everybody, thanks for watching. Have a great holiday season. Have a great new year. And uh, if you're interested at all, I know um, some folks said they like my jacket. This this is my logo for a learning platform that I'm creating uh, for trumpet players, um, just to come and learn and have a structured way of learning because YouTube can get a little crazy so I want to create something for you guys to um, to learn to grow and to <laughs> and to practice um, in an efficient way so if you're interested in getting updates and knowing when this will launch the link is in the description box below just go ahead and click that link and and uh, sign up and um, you'll get You'll get updates on when this website will be ready, but it will be ready uh, in 2019 for sure. All right. So you guys, thank you. Thank you all for watching you guys in on the live stream. You're awesome. And if you're watching this on the replay, um, I really appreciate your attention and your eyeballs. So if this has helped you at all, please go ahead. Don't be afraid to hit that like button. And um, and yeah. Have a great holiday season. See you in the next video. All right, take care.